The Armed Forces Minister, James Heapy, is to leave his role and quit as an MP. He says he's taken what he describes as a painful decision not to fight his Somerset seat at the next election so he can prioritise his family and pursue a different career. Our security and defence editor, Deborah Haynes, joins me now. Uh, Deborah, I know that you will be uh, familiar with him, probably had a lot of dealings with him. He's, he's a trusted performer uh, by the Conservative Party, isn't he? They put him on the media rounds quite often in the morning. He will be uh, seen as a loss to the government. Well, not just to the government, but in particular to defence, because he was a, a former soldier. He's been in that role for a long time. He was he played an instrumental part in this refresh of a big defence kind of blueprint that was published last year. <clears throat> and with defence, with Ben Wallace, the previous defence secretary, stepping down, he he really was someone who had perhaps the the, the greatest knowledge of defence within that ministerial team uh, in uh, in main building just down the road from here. Grant Shapps, he's the new Defence Secretary. You know, he's been in the role for a few months now, but he doesn't have the same level and depth of understanding as James Heapy. And also, it's no secret, um, plenty of sources saying that James Heapy had uh, been wanting greater defence spending. Grant Shapps, too, has come out to say that he wants to see defence spending rise to 3% of GDP. Now, I understand that the decision to resign by the minister was not to do with this row over defence spending. However, <clears throat> it's very clear that he was a voice inside defence who was making his frustrations known. And now with that gone, it does mean it's a bit of, you know, the armed forces are losing a key advocate. Of course, he will continue, you imagine, to make his views known uh, from the outside, especially he's going to be stepping down as armed forces minister probably over the Easter recess. And the Prime Minister will have to appoint somebody else into that key role. It's a key role, especially given the war in Ukraine, the war in Gaza, the need to rebuild the armed forces. It's critical and, and pretty bad that he's leaving. But he clearly feels that it's time to step down. He, he's, he said it's because of personal reasons. He wants to refocus on a new career following the election. Um, but it's bad news for defence at a time when you've had, as well, other serving ministers speak out only at the weekend, again, making that point that defence spending needs to rise at a time of growing threats, something that sadly did not happen for those that want it to happen uh, when the Chancellor released his budget last, last week.